Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. Okay, so we're doing the after the install of the new cells in the hybrid battery. So this is all the things I've noticed. Now, if you guys are doing this install of the of the cells on the hybrid battery DIY, and you guys are considering whether to balance the battery or not balance the battery, because apparently that's a big uh, that's a big thing with a lot of people because that could, if you guys are doing it yourself, <clears throat> balancing that battery out, a lot of people think, oh, I'm going to have to get a $600 charger, I'm going to have to put this much work to, into it, there's going to be this much, that there's there, there's going to be this much um, elect, electrical expertise that I need to know as far as uh, uh, figuring out each cell as far as uh, how balanced they are with a multimeter. Um, good news, guys. You guys don't need to do any of that. So easy as can be. I did a video on it. Easy as can be. All you guys need to do is watch that video. It's very, very simple. It'll take a couple hours or a day. You don't need any special tools. You don't need a $600 charger. You don't need to wait there. You don't need to wait there. Uh, looking at the multimeter, seeing how far it charges up, etc., etc. Don't need to, you know. Uh, anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. So, since um, since that video exists, and since that that way of of, of balancing the battery exists, definitely balance out the battery. All right, because with the old cells, I I took a measurement of all the cells. My 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 cells they range anywhere from 7.8 all the way down to 7.3, and that range was all over the place. Like like the one end of the battery of the hybrid battery was like around 7.8, 7.7. Middle of the battery was around 7.4, 7.5. The end of the other the other end of the battery was around 7.8. Is six seven point seven right around that it was all over the place all right now I bought this car at about 180,000 miles I don't know the history of the battery I don't know whether the battery was changed out or not it was possible that the battery was changed out it's very possible and uh, whoever changed it out didn't balance it out so it's possible but I, I, I this is not what this video is about this video is essentially about me giving you uh, my uh, I so I changed out had it and I've been driving it for a day now I'm gonna tell you what my experiences are as far as the changing is concerned all right the balance the battery the hybrid battery is a hundred percent percent balanced out it's been put together it's been put in everything's been all set up so I'm a hundred percent good on it no lights nothing on the dash you guys want any tips on it definitely uh, watch my other videos on 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 some really good tips on on installing the hybrid battery okay guys so what i've noticed is <clears throat> what i've noticed is the car the 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 hybrid system is a lot more intuitive uh you know it, it, it you know it, it shuts down after a certain rate after a certain speed and it goes it, it the engine turns back on after a certain speed it's very intuitive it's very fast as far as intuitive switching from hybrid to engine is concerned and uh, i'm pretty sure that saves uh, you know a good amount of MP uh, a good amount of gas that's the first thing second thing is I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting around the 50s with this new setup that I have with the new cells because uh, before this I was getting around 39 ish 40 ish 40 around the 40 around 40 of 39 miles per gallon and I gotta tell you, uh, those are pretty. Those are pretty good numbers. Those are pretty good numbers, considering that I, I idle quite a bit. I idle quite a bit, and it it, it ranges around 38, 39 mpg. I mean, I idle quite a bit in this vehicle. Those those were good numbers already. But I'm I'm gonna say that the way this car is operating now, with the new battery cells, with it balanced out, uh, I'm gonna get around you know around 50 ish. And I'll tell you that because uh, the uh, MPG, the estimated MPG on here is about 50. But I mean, I think I've only gone around like 70 miles. So, <clears throat> so it's not, it's not. I, I'm not going to be able to give you guys that estimate 
as far as uh, a factual stat. But, but I noticed this, the bars, um, before this, the bars uh, would drop to three. It would, it, it, would, it would hang around three, all right? It would, it, would, it would be all over the place. It would hang around three, three bars. Um, you know I mean, the, the car would be shut off. The car would shut off. The, the hybrid system would be on around three bars. If I was idling or if I was driving or whatever, it would, it would hang around three bars. If it goes below three bars, the engine would shut on, cut on. And uh, let me see. If it hanged around three bars, it was good, but it always hung around three bars. And then if it dropped below three bars, the engine would 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 come on. Come on. But I've noticed with 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 the uh, after the new install is that it would hang. This 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 uh, this would hang all the way up to about full, like one, two, three, four, five, six, six bars. It was constantly. If I'm driving, I'm on the road or whatever. It would constantly hang at six bars, not three bars, and 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 it, it there would be no fluctuation of the bars, as in you know um, about a couple miles after driving, it goes down to four, three bars, and then you know I drive a little bit more, it goes to um, six bars. No, no, this hangs out at six bars all the time now, meaning that the battery is a hundred percent good. It's fully charged all the time. It's keeping its charge. And um, and I think I had like one, two, three, four, four bars, four bars of, of gas. And I driven it like around 50, 60 miles and it only dropped one bar. So um, now that's not, that's not like a hundred percent of an accurate thing. That's an estimate. Uh, I'm, it may have been about at five bars or whatever, but <clears throat> at this point, uh, I'm quite happy with uh, with 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 how the car is operating at this point because gas is around gas is around uh, you know it's gone up to like 375. Obviously, the more I can save on gas, the better I the better I like it. And uh, I will say that the, you know this car's got around 200 and and, and eight miles, eight thousand miles, 28,000 miles. 210,000 miles, you know, there's a bunch of, you know, there's shimming here and there, maybe because the uh, the, the plastic, uh, the plastic guard under the, the vehicle uh, has, uh, may, may, you know, I, 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 yeah, I did, I did have to strip a couple of plastic pieces off because of, uh, but it's just a plastic guard and, and maybe that's because it's loose and when the car turns on, there's some shimmying of the plastic. Uh, maybe the uh, Calyx converter uh, guard that I have on to protect uh, the car uh, Calyx converter from being stolen. Maybe that's a little bit loose. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't actually looked under there to check out what exactly the problem is. But I also noticed when I was having these battery issues, where I would, where I, where I had, where I would have all these lights on the dash, um, where I would have all these lights on the dash. Uh, you know, it, it made some weird sound uh, in the front. It made some weird sound in the front, and uh, that sounds kind of gone away. I think. I think it's gone away because, um, be because, because I changed out the cell. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm 100 sure, but th those are my uh, estimates right now, uh, as far as you know what I've the differences that I've, I've experienced with driving this with the new cells versus with the um, old cells. Uh, I'm liking this car now. Uh, I'm confident with this car. I'm gonna tell you something. Um, you know, when I was having the battery issues and I was, you know, dredging, having to take the battery out and changing out the battery, um, all this stuff in my mind, thinking it was like very, very complicated. You know, but taking out the time to 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 change out the battery the first time around, as this is my first experience changing out the hybrid battery and and figuring out, you know, um, you know, all, all the bolts, all the screws. You know the, the 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 battery itself, what what connects the battery, what doesn't connect the battery. Um, it's 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 simple, guys. It's not it's not rocket science. Anybody can do it. Originally, I probably you probably have the same thoughts I have. Like you know, I'm gonna get electrocuted. It's a huge battery. But once you figure out that you once you disconnect a couple, you know, disconnect the orange 
um, the orange, the huge orange fuse. Once you disconnect that, most of the battery is just disconnected. And then you connect the two, two, um, two lines from the car. And and I'm just describing this as I go along because I don't actually have. You can we can watch my my videos on this, but you know the the battery is essentially just 100% uh, disconnected obviously you're going to want to be um careful because it's 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 you know it's 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 uh it's a large amount of electricity but once you start separating the packs it you know it doesn't it doesn't seem that like like it's that um it's not that dangerous you know i i i consider wearing like huge these huge electro electric um non-conducting gloves buying i consider buying that and all that stuff but all i worked with was um uh pretty much worked with you know you know these um you know light gloves and uh it was very very simple the only thing that i that i had issues with was all the nuts and bolts that connected all the batteries um on on the top and on the bottom but and then the fact that the battery is heavy but i'm a pretty strong guy so that didn't actually uh that didn't actually i, I was able to take the whole entire battery out myself maybe uh other people might have issues with it but it was it was very 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 simple guys okay i had no uh, no issues with it and now that I know how to do it I'm kind of like an expert on it at this point like the, like you know changing out the battery I'm like an expert on this at this point after taking it out four times putting it back four times taking it out four, four times and just figuring out all the issues with it trust me guys um, this is something you can do yourself if you want if you want I mean if you want to spend like $1,500 to, to, to $1,500 to two twenty one hundred for somebody to change out the pack um, I think you guys are going on Facebook. Uh, you go on Facebook. I think there's like a, a bunch of people doing it on Facebook where they charge like five, six hundred dollars. So I think somebody was below four hundred, was around four fifty. They wanted to charge to do it. If you have like, uh, like you know, two days, two days. If you guys watch my videos, you guys have two days uh, of free time. Uh, definitely well worth it. I learned a lot from it. Uh, I'm sure I'm probably gonna get like a, a bunch of people um, commenting, which I, which I'm fine with. Guys, comment, please comment. Always, always, always uh, happy to hear. You know uh, what you guys have to say, good or bad. All right, guys. Um, hope this has helped you guys out. Um, if you guys wanna, if you guys wanna donate to this channel, definitely uh, would appreciate it. I uh, appreciate those who have uh, donated to this channel to support it. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. If you guys have your own personal views or experiences with this, definitely leave a, a, a you know your comment in the comment section. All right, guys, take care.